Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. Today we're going to talk about sublimation gift ideas. So the holidays are coming up and you might be making handmade gifts for your family and friends and you might want to use your sublimation printer to do so. So what are the best sublimation gifts you can give? Well, I am going to run you through my top 10 sublimation gift ideas and in the description below this video, I'm going to have a link to a tutorial on how to make each one of these. So if one of these projects interests you and you've never made it before, then just head to the description below in order to see how to make it. If you're on computer, scroll down and click show more. If you're on mobile, click the arrow to expand the description or swipe up on the video depending on how you're watching. Now these gift ideas are in no particular order, so I'm not putting them to my favorite to least favorite. I am just randomly listing them. They probably are all my favorite. So the first is a sublimation canvas. So if you've ever wanted to give a photo canvas and maybe you can't find a deal or you can't afford the ones that are made or maybe you don't have time to order a specially made canvas, a sublimation version is a great way to do that. And I do those a unique way with something called Clear Dice Sub HTV. So you can find out how to use that in my video. However, other people use laminate sheets. So if the clear dye sub HTV is not available, you might check out laminate sheet options as well. And I'm sure you can find another YouTuber that uses that method of sublimating on canvas. Next up is license plates. Who can't use a license plate? Plus I had to add some gift ideas on this list that were great for men because they can be really tough to buy for. So license plates, in my opinion, are a great gift for just about anyone. So make a custom license plate with your sublimation printer. And I do wanna caution you here, be sure to buy high quality license plates because you do want them to have a UV coating on them. So I buy them from a certain vendor. They already have a UV coating on them. So when you sublimate on top, it is completely protected from that sunlight. So it is something important to remember if you're gonna make sublimation license plates. Next up is garden flags. So I find this a great gift for any occasion. And my idea for you is because they are super inexpensive is to do like a set of garden flags, like one for each season would be four, maybe every other month would be six, or you could do a set of 12, one for every month, every holiday, that type of thing. So I think that's a great way to show someone you care with a set of garden flags. You can have them all have their name on them and be personalized as well. My next two definitely fall under gifts, but also stocking stuffers. The first is keychains. So I've made a wide variety of keychains with sublimation and you can, again, personalize it with a name, initial monograms are really great here, anything that your gift recipient loves. And then my next on this list is earrings. Again, it is a simple, small gift, can be used as a stocking stuffer, and both the keychains and the earrings are really great if you have like a an event where you need to give gifts to several people. You can buy earrings and sublimation keychains in bulk, then make a ton of them and pass them out as gifts or even like party favors. Next up is a glass cutting board. Now there are a variety of sublimation cutting boards on the market. However, I have had the best luck with the glass version and they are very, very cool. So you don't mirror the design and the back is white. And once you put the sublimation on, the sublimation print shows through to the front. So there's no chance of scratching it off when you cut because the sublimation print is actually on the back of the cutting board and then you cut on that glass surface on the front. So I do think this is a great idea, any design you wanna put on it. However, if you can find like a handwritten recipe from a relative that has passed away and sublimate that onto the back of a glass cutting board. That is the kind of gift that I like to give. So I like to give something that's super personal that the person is really gonna love. And I find that that kind of gift where it's like a recipe from a relative, handwritten, they've passed away and you sublimate it onto something so it's permanent, they can use it every day, reminds them of that person. To me, those kind of gifts just make the holidays. Next up is a slate photo. So we talked about photo canvas, that was my first one. So this is still a photo gift. The slate photos to me are a more elegant gift. So they are very, very elegant. The slates come in all sizes. You can make them to like stand up or you can make them, like they make small ones that are slate coasters. You can put, I like to put pictures on them, but you could really put anything on the slate coaster that you would like or the slate plaque that you would set up. Personally, I love to put photos on them and give those as gifts. And like I said, it's just like an elevation from the photo canvas looks and feels a little bit more expensive. 
Number eight is all those water bottles and tumblers. I can't leave those out at all because I personally love to make them. So water bottles and tumblers are quick, easy, they can be personalized, and probably everyone needs one. Like when is the last time that you could not use a tumbler in your life? So a cute personalized tumbler is a amazing gift and they're perfect for all ages. So I've given tumblers to a two year old and I've given tumblers to adults. So I think any age, water bottles, tumblers, they even make sublimation sippy cups, any of those drinkware items makes a great gift idea. Number nine is a doormat or a rug. I really like this idea for adding like welcome and name, a cute saying to a doormat and then gifting that. Me personally, Sublimation makes these really permanent and last even longer than like the painted versions that you might see with the Cricut machine. So for me, Sublimation wins out on the doormats and I do really think that they make a great gift. And I added this one to the list because I do think it makes an amazing gift if you gift to your neighbors. So if you have like a neighborhood gift exchange, a doormat would definitely fit the bill for that. And my final gift idea is socks. <laughs> I love, love, love to make sublimation socks. If you've not seen my video, I've made several different types. They come in all sizes. So again, it is a gift for all age ranges. You can make them serious. You can make them funny. I've made socks with my face on them before, so you can definitely make them funny. Put a, their pet's face on them. Anything to be completely customized. And again, they come in all sizes different types of socks from no-show socks to full knee-high socks. So whatever kind of socks they like, you can probably find them. Then sublimate on them with whatever they would like to see or would like to get and add them to their stocking or wrap them up for under the tree. And finally, before I leave you, so I left you with 10 gift ideas and you might think, gosh, some of those sublimation blanks sound expensive. I did want to remind you that I have a whole video on finding sublimation blanks at the Dollar Tree and I will link to that below as well. So if you are really hunting for those inexpensive gifts this holiday season, head to the Dollar Tree, use my tips, find some sublimation blanks and make those personalized gifts with your sublimation printer. Like if you already have the sublimation printer, get your blanks from the Dollar Tree, all of a sudden your gifts are very, very inexpensive. So I would encourage you to watch that video, tips and tricks on how to find blanks and just head to your Dollar Tree on a hunt to find all the gift ideas. And you could almost give a sublimation gift from the Dollar Tree to just about everyone on your list. So try that video if you need help with inexpensive gift ideas for the holiday season. So I hope this entire video helped you plan your gift giving for the holidays. If you're giving handmade gifts this holiday season, be sure to start early, make a list, and get to sublimating. So thank you so much for joining me. If you have questions about anything we've covered, drop down in the comment section, ask away. If you like this video, if it helped you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos just like this one every single week and trust me, you don't wanna miss any of those. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.